outside Rajasthali uh, store, which is where I've come to look for some textiles and handicrafts. Come on. So what can I see today that's typically Rajasthani? So this is a whole piece of sari. Okay, so this is a Bandini sari, uh, which is the typical work here from Rajasthan. So they hand tie every bit, as you can see here, and then dye it. And then they open it up, and it looks like this. So right now, this is a whole sari, if you can believe it. That's the blouse piece. This tiny bit is a whole sari, and when you open it out, it's going to be that side. Leheria, what are the different types that you get there? Is, does it depend on the fabric? See, this is, that's called pachranga. Okay, different means colors, in different colors. colors. Oh, wow. Different color. Oh, that's beautiful. So this is half pandani and half leheria. So can I see some quilts now? I know you all are famous for the quilts as well. Oh, wow. And these are incredibly soft and very cozy. <laughs> And I just want to curl into bed with one of these right now. Now I'm going to see some uh, block printing and some handicrafts, so let's go. So these are all bed covers. Can I see some with the block print? There's a, a line missing here in the middle. This sort of makes you believe that it was done uh, by block printing and not uh, by a machine. So I'm having a hard time deciding uh, which one to pick because I want to take one. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one because it's blue and it's bright and um, it's very cheery which is what I look for when I'm looking for a bedspread. <laughs> so these are Jodhpuri pants which are essentially riding pants. Uh, they're tight on the calf and you know loose on the thigh here. And uh, these are very typical of Jodhpur, obviously they're called Jodhpuri pants, so they're from Jodhpur. But uh, they're quite trendy and in vogue right now as well, so um, I would recommend you come here and get a pair of these. So they've got everything here, right, from small little Rajasthani musicians to camels to chairs and lots of little metal handicrafts as well. So if you're looking for a souvenir, I would definitely recommend taking home one of these guys. So I spotted this really bright looking store in Sardar market while I was walking around and they've got some really cute stuff. So if you want to feel like a queen, you can go home with a Rajasthani parasol. So you can also buy a turban. These are already turbans and you can just pack them in your bag like this so if you want to take them back as a souvenir or as a gag gift for your friend you can do that as well. Shopping. I've bought a lovely bread spread and I've taken you through everything you can get in Rajasthan and I hope you come here and shop like I did. Mm -hmm.